Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit and his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. The Amen. Lord is his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. Amen. 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 I'll turn it over now to the hands of Deacon Jarrett, who will now lead us in our welcome and other announcements. Uh, pleasant good afternoon to each and every one. I just want to say thank you to 
each and every one who joined us this afternoon for our service. But before we do that, let's say a prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for waking us up in our right minds this morning and bringing us here for our afternoon worship. We thank you for all who are present and for those who could not make it for whatever reasons. We pray, dear Lord, that wherever they may be, you will continue to be their guide and their shield. For our speaker for today, we pray, dear Lord, that you give him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And as he preaches to us today, our souls will be truly blessed and we can go forth and remind someone that you are Lord. Guide and protect us. Deed and many blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, again, welcome to our afternoon service. For our first time visitors, we welcome you with open arms. And we do look forward to you coming back to join us with a friend or a family member. For those of you who are online with us over the years, the months, the weeks, we welcome you and we thank you for joining us this afternoon. Feel free to worship with us in spirit and in truth as we give honor and praise to the Lord who has been so good and yes. so good yes. to all of us. Amen. 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 And now our scripture reading will be brought to us by Sister Carol Beersay. Good afternoon, saints. The scripture is saying from Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 to 21, and I'll be reading from the ampli Amplified Bible. Therefore, see that you walk carefully, living life with honor, purpose, and courage, shunning those who tolerate and enable evil, not as the unwise, but as wise, sensible, intelligent, discerning people, making the way, making the very most of your time on earth recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and di diligence because the days are filled with evil. Therefore, do not be foolish and thoughtless, but understand and firmly grasp what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is wickedness, corruption, stupidity, but be filled with the Holy Spirit and constantly guided by him. Speak to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, offering praise by singing and making melody with your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for all things, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, being subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we come before you this afternoon. We give you thanks, dear God, for this new day. We give you thanks for the showers of blessing that you are sending on us. We pray, dear Lord, that as we're gathered here today, that we come dear Lord, with one accord to worship you in spirit and in truth. Help us, dear Lord, to be ambassadors for you, to represent you here on earth. There's so much here for us to do, dear Lord. The harvest is right, but the laborers are few. We pray this morning that you will send laborers into the vineyard. Father God, we have many requests. We have many things on our minds. But we know that you are a merciful God. You know them one by one, and time would fail us if we start to name them one by one. So, dear God, we just put them before you this morning that you will rule and you will see what is fit for each one of us. Heavenly Father, take our lives and let it be consecrated to thee. We seek, dear God, to reconsecrate and rededicate our lives to thee, dear Lord. Each day is a new day, dear Lord, which is problems. 
We need your spiritual strength, dear Lord, to guide us as we come to listen to your word, dear Father God. Open our hearts, dear Lord. Prepare our minds, dear Lord, and our hearts to receive the word and that we will do get a blessing. Be with us, dear Lord. We pray, dear Lord, for those who are sick, that you will heal them, dear Lord, from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Those who are homeless, we pray, dear Lord, that you will provide as you say you will do. Father God, bless us and keep us and be with us throughout this session. We ask all these in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a selection. God, Bless our hearts. Yeah. Because he's real, he 
Blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Amen. Amen. What a blessing. I'm going to turn it over now into the hands of Sister Beerse, who will do our tithes and offerings, and we'll come back. Um, Luke 6 38 says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down and shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank thee for this day as we give of our tithes and our offering. We pray, Father, that we will give willingly and not grudgingly. Your word says the Lord loves a cheerful giver. We give there, Lord, not expecting anything in return because we have been given. So this morning we give of what we have earned and we pray, dear Lord, that it will be used right here on this earth to extend your kingdom. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'll give you a few minutes to get it. Uh, get yourselves together. You can do that. You can uh, go to your... Uh, yeah. Uh, you can, you can, uh, Evan, you want to, uh, Jared, you want to help Thank us? You. Uh, for Cash App givers, it's the dollar sign E C O G B X. I'll repeat one more time. For those who are planning to give by Cash App, it's the dollar sign E. C O G B X. For those who are planning to mail their tithes and offering, it's the Evangelical Church of God, 1205 Washington Avenue, Bronx, New York, 10456. I'll repeat the mailing address again. It's Evangelical Church of God, 1205 Washington Avenue. Bronx, New York, 10456. Thank you. And that information is on your screen for your convenience. Those of you who are watching on Facebook, it's on the chat. The address as well as the cash app uh, address. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Uh, Deacon Jack, before you introduce the preacher for the moment, would you uh, make the announcement? Because their Bible study is back in, as well as our 
um, Sunday school hour. So would you give them that information? I'll type it as you as you speak. Uh, okay. I gotta get my. Uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. It's okay. Bible study is Wednesdays, right? Bible Bible study at six a.m. No, prayer meeting at six a.m. on Wednesday mornings, and Bible study at seven p.m. in the afternoon. By the end of this, I will be able to give you the number because you caught me off guard. Okay. okay. So I should go ahead? Yes. Okay. My name is Sister Jarrett, and on behalf of our church, Evangelical Church of God, I take great, great pleasure in introducing to you our speaker for this afternoon. Reverend Dr. J. Lauren Russell, well-respected and multi-talented. Reverend J. Lauren Russell is an associate minister at Goodwill Baptist Church and is the spiritual leader of the Evangelical Church of God, both located in the Bronx. He's president slash CEO of JLR Company, slash J. Lauren R. Consulting, LLC for Church Financial and Strategic Consulting, and is the producer and host of Matters of Faith, the radio show on Monday nights, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Facebook Live. Be sure to friend the Matters of Faith YouTube channel, Matters of Faith at gmail.com. Order your copy of Matters of Faith, the ebook, on at www.smashwords.com forward slash books forward slash views forward slash 9931787878. Reverend Russell, it is always such great pleasure to have you worshiping with us at Evangelical Church of God. Just a reminder that our hearts and our church door is always open to welcome you. We appreciate you so much and we wish you all of God's blessing and we do look forward to worship with you on Sundays. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm delighted. So we'll have a selection, then we'll come back. <laughs>
sound. You've lost the sound. <laughs> He's enjoying it. Yes, we don't hear. Who can we get to him? And he started a long way. But what about Mm. Uh, you know, you're really been blessed. Still having a good time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What you have and what you have of it, I know that you will find that you're really good. Oh, Can we get to him? I send a text. Mm -hmm. no, Don't say you have anybody else's number, just end the service live. <laughs> I sent another text as well. Mm. Okay, I think he received it. Uh. I was going to stop our share right about here. We're mm -hmm. going to move in. God bless you and thank you so much. Can everybody hear me? I understand that we lost our sound for just a moment, but can you hear me now? No. Yes. Lord, yes. hallelujah. Yes. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for being with us today. Taking yes. time out of your afternoon to join us in worship. 
And we are in worship, y'all. We are, and this is worship. This is worship at its best, at its best. We are worshiping the Lord God Almighty right here in the land of the dying. That's where we are. We're in the land of the dying, moving to the land of the living. I'll greet you all in the marvelous, the matchless, and the mighty name of Christ Jesus, who is my Lord and my master, my savior, and my king. I'm honored, I'm humbled, and I'm blessed to be in the sacred place at this sacred hour, at this sacred time, to be with his sacred people. Thank you so much, Evangelical Church of God, from the depths of my heart, for extending the invitation. Anyone would be glad to be here, but thank God that you saw fit for me to be with you today. And I bring you greetings from both the Goodwill and the Great Universal Baptist Churches, where our pastors, Reverend Dr. Booker T. Sears Jr. and retired pastor, Reverend Dr. Daniel Dupree. Now, I say that all the time because you got to give honor where honor is due. Dr. Dupree has been in instrumental in my life, although he's no longer the pastor of Great Universal. He still, he still continues to have a place in my heart and in my ministry, and I always recognize him. To those <clears throat> who read and follow me in my matters of faith ministry, Matters of Faith, the, the, the column that I write, and now five different publications, as well as those who follow me on the show, Matters of Faith, live on Monday nights on uh, Matters of Faith, as well as the J. Lauren Russell Facebook groups, and those who even watch it on YouTube. We don't broadcast it live on YouTube, but we do place it on YouTube after it's, after it's uh, aired, so you can look at any show that you want to on YouTube. And if I'm not mistaken, you can watch YouTube lying in your bed, because it's on your TV. So you can get that anytime you want. So it's not a big <laughs> find, like, and share the Matters of Faith YouTube channel. You'll find it every time. And for those of you who do not have, I invite you to get the book, Matters of Faith. You can get it as an ebook, or you can get it, the hard copy, and I'll send it to you if you just go to my cash app, dollar sign, Matters of Faith. Make sure you put your address in so I'll know where to send it. The book is $25. Uh, the cost of postage just keeps going up. But last but not least, Next month on the 24th of the month, my wife, the queen of my life, will have been married to this man for 36 years. I think that's yeah. amazing. I think that's Amen. amazing. Amen. Amen. Would be married to me for 36 years. I think it's, <laughs> it's amazing. Amen. I think it's amazing, but I thank God for that. So I've had, I've had company. And actually, we've been in the same company for 42 years. 36 of them will be in marriage, but the rest of them would have been just in, in, in companionship. So we've been together for quite a while. Um, and I thank God for that. I really mm -hmm. do. Well, let me do what the Lord has called me to do, because there is, a, there is a message that the Lord has given me to share with you. I pray that you had an opportunity to read the article. If you did not, please do. It's in the Bronx Chronicle. It's in the Yonkers Insider. It will be in the Black Westchester Magazine, Pamela's Big Heart Newsletter, and eventually when they come out with the quarterly issue, quarterly edition, it may even be in the um, uh, in Better Mag Magazine because they carry the column, but they only publish once a quarter. From the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 15 to 21, this is from the Amplified Bible, and I, I chose it for a reason because I really wanted to be clear about the text. So here now, as the Lord speaks to us from Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 through 21. Therefore, see that you walk carefully, living life with honor, purpose, and courage, shunning those who tolerate and enable evil, not as the unwise, but as wise, sensible, intelligent, discerning people, making the very most of your time, on earth, recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence, because the days are filled with evil. Therefore, do not be foolish and thoughtless, but understand and firmly grasp what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is wickedness, corruption, stupidity, but be filled with the Holy Spirit and constantly guided by him. Speak to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, offering praise by singing and making melody with your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, being subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Amen. What I want to talk Amen. to you about this afternoon is intoxicated in the spirit, intoxicated mm -hmm. in the spirit. Pray with me for just a moment. Father, we do come now in the precious and the awesome, the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we've heard some wonderful songs that were sung. 
we heard some wonderful testimonies that were given. We gave an offering, oh God. But now we come because we really need to hear from you. So I pray, Lord, that you'll use me as an instrument of your peace, that you'll play me like a musician plays their instrument, that you'll speak to me, speak through me, and speak for me so that you will not speak against me on that great getting up morning. And oh God, even as the sugar hides itself in the tea, I pray that you'll allow me to hide myself in these so that these, your people, will truly see all of thee and none of me. For it is in the mighty name of Christ that we pray. Amen. 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 Intoxicated in the spirit. Yes. For those who are filled with the spirit are in the way of the wise. They work, they walk circumspectfully, cautiously, sensitively, being watchful as one who walks through a path of thorns. They capitalize on every opportunity they encounter, wisely using their God-given gift of time. Those who are filled with the spirit understand the will of the Lord and conducts themselves accordingly. I remember when I was a young man, well, actually I was a teenager, drinking with friends. I don't remember how much they drank, but I would routinely drink until I was thoroughly inebriated. That means I was drunk. What started as a buzz became a drunken stupor. It was a cool thing to do, so we would regularly drink, sometimes resulting in us cussing and fighting each other. Can I be transparent for a minute? I want you to understand that as a young teen growing up in the 70s, I was a dabbler. I dabbled in this and I dabbled in that. A little bit of everything that was out there. I tried most of them, some just to see what it was like and other things because I liked it. My choices were first alcohol, then marijuana. Not only were they the substance of choice, they were the most difficult to stop doing. I wasn't the only one. Many of my friends took it further than I did. Some of them getting strung out. That's the word we used to use when you were a drug fiend. You, you were a drug addict, you were strung out. And I recall talking to a friend who has had more difficult times with substances than I did. I told him that his common denominator, the one drug that has been his biggest nemesis has been alcohol. Hmm. When everything else was conquered, the drugs, the cocaine, the, 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 the heroin, the, the, the marijuana, all of that stuff, the bottle kept tugging at his coattails. Maybe you have a similar story, alcohol. I'm not pointing a finger at my friend because my family, in my family, turning 18 gave us license to drink. And we drank. Alcohol has been at the root of all of my family's early death. Every single one of them. Maternal and paternal. Transparency. I'm, 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 the, I'm, true, I'm trying to be transparent. I'm trying to help somebody today. Mm -hmm. The longest surviving sibling of my mother's immediate family of 11 reached the age of 67. On my father's side, there were only three. My father who was the eldest, was 49 years old when he passed away. His youngest brother was also 49 when he passed away. The middle brother was 72. But every one of them, without exception, mom and dad's family were drinkers, some worse than others. But alcohol was the common denominator in every one of their lives, intoxicated in the spirit. Paul was right. Being intoxicated with wine leads to hangovers. Early morning dry mouth, y'all know that, that cotton mouth we used to call it. Lots of wasted time, wasted resources, misused talents, and squandered money. This pericope that Paul writes to the Ephesians says that there is another spirit, the one of drunkenness. It uses the word dissipation, which is another word for depravity, immorality, corruption, debauchery, dishonesty, wickedness, sin. When one is filled with the spirit of drunkenness, they are counted among the unwise, doing the very opposite of those who are filled with the spirit, intoxicated in the spirit. It always fascinates me 
When I think back to my days of drinking and consuming other mind altering substances, how committed I was to spending time and money to acquire those substances. Taking the time to consume those substances, taking time to be under the influence, and of course, making time for the recovery after I use those things. Now, you don't have to. You don't have to do much. You ain't much of a choice there because when you get high, when you get drunk, when you get when you all you you gonna have to recover, and you have to take some time to do that. Now I must admit, many of those episodes I can't even recall even though each one consumes somewhere between eight and 12 hours, because it takes a lot of time to get drunk, to get high, to spend your time with mind altering substances. And who knows how much money was spent all in pursuit of what we think or what I thought was a good time. Can I take this a little bit further? Mm -hmm. I, want, I want to put it in perspective. The challenge, the challenge that I have is not with those who have the spirit of drunkenness. Y'all watch this now. But those who are not filled with the spirit. See, if you know better and you don't do better, it is better that you never knew in the first place. Can I say that again? If you know better and you do not do better, it is better that you never knew in the first place. According to the text, all followers of Christ are to be filled with the spirit. Did you hear me? All followers of Christ are to be filled with the spirit. When we do what we have been commanded to do, we have no time to do what we should not be doing. Two things can occupy the same space at the same time. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, you don't have time to do what you're not supposed to do. Adrian Rogers in his book, uh, 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 What Every Christian Ought to Know Day by Day says, I believe far more harm is done in our churches by people who are not spirit filled than by people who are drunks. <laughs> far more harm is done by people who are trying to do the work of God in their own flesh because they're not drunk or intoxicated in the spirit. But drunk people, you ain't got to worry about, but people who are not drunk but not filled with the spirit, those are the ones who are creating the problems. Mm -hmm. Yes. Must be intoxicated in the spirit. Mm. When, when we stop following the flesh and begin following the spirit, stop getting intoxicated with wine and the world and choose to be intoxicated in the spirit, we are no longer at the disposal of Satan and all of his demons. We are in the hands of God and Jesus fills us with the one he said he would send, the one he calls the comforter. The Holy Spirit comes and dwells within us. Yes. When we make the decision that we're not going to be intoxicated with the world, but we're going to be intoxicated with the spirit. Amen. Intoxicated with the spirit of God. You sing songs of praise. Yes. To God Amen. the Father from the heart. You give thanks to God the Father for all things and in the name of Jesus Christ, because you recognize him as being Lord and Master, Savior and King. You love others the way God loves you. Yes. Amen. And here's what it says from the easy to read version of the Bible. Encourage each other with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your hearts to the Lord. Always give thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of thou Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It's clear. It's, it's right there in the book. It's in the scripture. All you have to do is read it. Get intoxicated in the spirit. Yes, amen. Let, let, me, let me get back to my transparency for a moment. Let me, let me go back to being transparent. When I finally came to my senses and I recognized that I was wasting my most precious gifts on something that was literally robbing and killing me at the same time. Yes. I began to earnestly seek the Lord's guidance and comfort, knowing that I could not do this on my own. I couldn't mm. break away from the clutches that had me bound. I was bound by those things. I was, yeah. I was a drinker. I was a smoker. I was someone who liked doing those things. At least I convinced myself that I liked to do those things. Mm. I had too much history and too much baggage. I couldn't get away from it. Mm. I needed help. Mm. The Apostle Paul, in the book of Ephesians, clearly understood that there were many people in that city whose interests were in drunkenness. Mm -hmm. He admonishes his readers to be wise 
and seek to understand the will of God for their lives. He quickly tells them not to be drunk with wine, but yes. to be filled with the spirit. Amen. The capitalization of the word spirit indicates he's talking about the triune God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Yes. The capitalization of the word spirit of the first letter indicates that he's talking about God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. What mm. follows in this discourse is the results of being filled with the Spirit as opposed to being drunk with wine. Yes. Drunken stupors versus speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, <laughs> singing and making melody with their hearts to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for all things, not some things, not many, not most, but all things, not worried about what's on the negative because nothing lasts forever. This too shall pass. Whatever comes to you, no matter how bad it gets, it wasn't coming to you to stay. It just came to pass. All yes. in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ. The manifestation of this great gift of the Holy Spirit is being helpful to others because of our reverence for Christ. In other words, you go through those things so that you can build up the faith, you can build up the confidence, you can have an experience that you can share with somebody else and help lift them up from the muck and the mire, the downs and the tried down, those who are less fortunate than yourself. You were given those gifts and it is a gift so that you can help somebody else find their way. Yeah. Yes. Intoxicated in the spirit. Yes. yes. If you're going to be intoxicated, if you're going to get drunk, mm. let me encourage you to get drunk in the word of God. Amen. The experience is amazing. Yes. And the rewards are eternal. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, when you get drunk for the Lord, when you, yes. when you wake up in the morning, you ain't got no dry mouth. You ain't got no head. You wake up in a city not made by hands. You wake up in a mansion with your name on it. You wake up in God's kingdom. You wake up. Yes. You're alive. Amen. Not like you were when you were drinking, and drunk, and dead. You wake up alive. You wake up in an eternal kingdom not made by hands that God has prepared for you. And when it's right, and when it's your time to go, He steps out of glory, comes down, and escorts you right to your house. Amen. Come on up Amen. to my house. I got a man. What's your name? Yes. It. If you're going to be intoxicated, get drunk in the word of God. Amen. The experience is amazing and the rewards are eternal. Let me challenge you to be intoxicated in the spirit. Yes. And to take a stand for Christ. Yes. Albertina Worker made a song, Stand for God. Stand mm. for God. Stand up no matter who stand, whoever sits down. You stand up. You can't take a stand if you're drunk with wine, but you can stand <laughs> when you're filled with the spirit. Take a stand yeah. Yeah. The victory over your family's history. I don't care what your history is. I don't care if your family were a bunch of drunks and, and alcoholics and, and addicts and, 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 and a dupe. I don't care what they were. You can overcome whatever your family history is. Take yeah. a stand for your Amen. sobriety from the world's alcohol. See, the world well, wants you to get drunk on it. But I'm taking a stand for sobriety so that I can drink from the cup that runneth over. I want to Amen. drink from the cup that Jesus poured. I want to take a stand for overcoming a community that prides itself on social <laughs> drinking and casual drug use. As if that's what we're supposed to be doing. Yes. I take a stand for overcoming communities that pride themselves on going to jail as a badge of honor. I take a stand on overcoming a community that takes a stand that education is not for them. I don't stand against it, but I stand for overcoming the community that says that education can't be had, that I'm not good in math. You're better in math than you ever thought that you were. Take a stand mm. for spiritual intoxication, even if you have to stand alone. Yes. Take a stand. If nobody stands with you, take a stand. Yes. Take a stand. I said, take a stand and make your position known. Amen. Be in the spirit. Yes. When we allow the Holy Spirit to fill us. We not only take a stand, but we are led to live up to verses 19 and 20. And we encourage each other with 
psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. We sing and make music in our hearts to the Lord. We always give thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord, because that's what we do when we're intoxicated in the spirit. Amen. Amen. Your intoxication. Don't be afraid of getting drunk. Yes. Get drunk for the right reasons and from the right source. Amen. You're going to drink the wine. Mm. You just got to decide which wine you're going to drink. Yes. Amen. Drink from the wine. Drink from the source that will turn not only your life around, but the lives of those that you love. You know, I was, I'm being transparent today. And I know there are people in my family that have gone from time to eternity. I'm never going to see again. Never. Mm -hmm. Because they did not make it in. And I ain't going to hell. I ain't even going to visit. I ain't going there. So mm. I may never see them again. Mm. Mm. But then there are some others that I will see again. But I can tell you this. From the moment that I became intoxicated in the spirit, mm. my commitment has been that no one else in my family, Anthony, no one else in my family, Lorraine, no one else in my family, Barbara, no one else in my family, Carol, no one else in my family, Mary, no one else in my family, Bert, no one in my family will die and not at least hear the word of God. Amen. I want Amen. them to at least Amen. have a chance Amen. at eternal life. Yeah. If, I, I, if, I'm in, if I was a drunk, I would say what, you know, drunks say what's on their mind. Well, if mm. I'm drunk in the spirit, I'm going to tell them what's on my mind. And, my, and what's on my mind is I don't want to see you die and go to hell. Mm. And I'm going to tell them because I want to see them live. I don't want to yeah. see them die. The Bible declares that we pass from death to life. Yeah. And if we pass from death to life, there must be a process. And one of the things in the Bible that is clear about is that you must confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, believe in your heart that he was raised from the dead. And the Bible says that you will be saved. That means your name is written in the Lamb's book of life and not a demon in hell can take it out. I want my Amen. family, I want my friends, I want my acquaintances to have their chance to get their name written in the Lamb's book of life. But if I don't tell them, yes. who will? Mm. I Very can't true. let that slip and maybe, maybe somebody will say it to him. Maybe somebody will tell him. I can't take the chance of them missing the mark and going to hell. Mm. Mm. Not anymore. Not yeah. on my watch. Not yeah. as long as I'm here. I'm not going to do that. You don't have to like me for it. You don't have to be, you don't have to do anything, but you want have to fess up to the fact that I'm going to do that, whether you like it or not. Yes, preach You don't have to want to be around me. You can tell me that you're a Bible thumper. You talk about Jesus all the time. You can tell me anything you want, but I'm not going to let you slip through the cracks if I can help it. Amen. Not, when Amen. I, not on my watch. Yes. Not on my watch. Amen. Not on my watch. I hear you. Go on. And I'm Go saying on. that because I mean that I don't want to see not another one of the people that I love, people that I'm acquainted with, die and go to hell. Mm. Preach it. If that's what you want to do, then stay drunk on wine. Mm. But, if, but, if, but if you want to make a difference in the lives of people, get drunk in the spirit. Get intoxicated Amen. in the spirit of God and tell people what you know, just like a drunk would tell them what's on their mind. They tell me, I was half lit. Yes. And I said what I said. Mm. And I meant what I said. Mm. Well, get half lit on the spirit of God and say to them what you got to say. Yes. Just loves you and there's nothing you can do about it. Yes. <laughs> Confess well, with your well, mouth the Lord well, Jesus Christ well. and give him an opportunity to take control of your life. Get yes. intoxicated yes. in the spirit of the Lord. Yes. This is your challenge. This is what I challenge you with today. The door of the church stands open. If there's anyone under the weak sound of my voice that has heard this word and you know that you're not intoxicated. Matter of fact, you've just been looking at the cup. You ain't been drinking nothing. I invite you to come. Drink from the cup that Jesus poured his blood in. Yes. Get intoxicated in the spirit of the living God. Let him use you as an instrument of your peace. Yes. Let, him, let, let him use you to touch the people that you love in your life. Let him use you so that no one that you know will die and go to hell because you didn't say a thing. Yes, yes, yes. The door of the church stands open. Mm. If there's one, all you have to do 
All you have to do is type in, it's me. Just put it in the chat box, it's me. We'll, 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 we'll bring you, we'll, we'll, I'll con I personally will contact you. All you gotta do is believe in your heart. In fact, pray this prayer with me. If that's you, pray this prayer with me. Father, I'm a sinner. Mm -hmm. I've been drinking from the cup of wine and the world spirit. Yes. I've been drunk in the world's wiles. Yes. But Father, I don't want to be drunk in the world anymore. I surrender my mind, my body, my spirit. Yes. Take control, yes. Lord, of my life. Yes, Lord. Let me drink hmm. from the well of life. Yes, yes. That I might become intoxicated. Yes. In the spirit. Amen. 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 I believe that Jesus lived. Hmm. Yes. I believe he died. I believe he got up from the grave. That he now sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. Yes. And he shall come from there to redeem his people. And I'm one of them. Lord, come into my life. In the name of Christ, we pray. Yes. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, I know your name has been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You don't, you, you don't have to do it. You can't do anything to get eternal life. All you have to do is be who God called you to be. And that is be a follower of Christ. Believe him. Believe him. And then get intoxicated. Once you, once you taste and see that the Lord is good, I guarantee you, you won't want to stop drinking. Mm -hmm. You see, when you're drunk and you want to stay drunk, you got to keep drinking. Mm -hmm. When you're in the spirit and you want to stay in the spirit, you got to keep drinking. Yes. You got to keep coming to hear the word of God. You got to keep reading the Bible. You have to go to those Bible studies. You have to go to those Sunday school or what I call spiritual enrichment hours. You have to do that. Hmm. In order to stay in the spirit, you have to continually drink from the spirit. Yes. See, when you stop drinking, when you're drinking hmm. wine or alcohol, or you stop using dope, in order to get high again, you have to go and do it again. In order to stay hmm. high, you have to continuously drink or continue yes. to shoot up or continuously sniff mm. or can, whatever you do, smoke, whatever it is that you do. But I'm saying, turn that around. Yes. And do it for the Lord. Amen. And continue to drink from the wellspring of life. Amen. Mm. Amen. And before you know it, before you know it, people around you will be coming to you Ask yeah. me, what do I have to do to be saved? Yes. And you'll say, why are you asking me? It's because there's something about you. Yes. You'll begin to glow. You have a, like that, that, see that, see that, see that dove above my head? They'll see God around you. Yes. They'll feel his presence. Now, demons will get away from you. Understand that. Demons don't want to be around you when you're full of the Lord. When the light comes on, mm -hmm. demons go hide. Thanks. They'll make life horrible. They'll try to they'll try to engulf you because they don't want to be around you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Amen. don't be afraid to be alone. That's why I said stand. Stand yes. on the promises of God. Don't worry yes. about what other people do. Glory. Stand. Amen. Don't worry about them because they're trying to get away from the light that's 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 exposing them yes yes yes, yeah, yes. Don't, don't get it twisted i know i know i know what they're doing i see it they're trying to get away from the light because they're showing up and and the demons the horns are showing up <laughs> they don't want nobody to see the horn but jesus it's too, it's too late we done saw them already but, but the, the, the wonderful thing is that jesus can turn those horns yes, yes. He could turn them into 
and into into literally into 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 instruments of peace. Yes, you can blow the horn of salvation. Mm -hmm. He'll take them off your head and put them in your mouth. Yes, but you have to be willing to let him. Yes, you have to be willing to drink from the fountain and the wellspring of life. Amen. Get intoxicated. Yes, in the Spirit of God. Amen. Can I pray for you? Let me pray for you. Father, for your grace and your mercy, your loving kindness, and this, this message, Lord, which, which was on my heart, and you, 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 they heard it, they heard it, the transparency of it all. Yes. Father, Father, I was not trying to shine a light on me, but I just wanted people to know that this is a part of the story that they don't see. Hmm. They, they, they may see what they think is the glory, but they don't know what went into the story. Yes. They don't know what happened, what we went through. They didn't know, many of them did not know that I have no uncles and I and have I no aunts, and that alcohol and drugs were at the center of every like one the of them. water it. burning. Every single one of them. Mm. Father, sometimes it's the transparency that draws people to Christ. Yes. It's being able to look at someone that they think. <laughs> has everything together and has had it together since they were children. But Thank when you begin to understand that nobody is free of challenges in life. Yes. They all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Yes. yes. The yes. Father, they heard and they saw the transparency. I pray, Lord, that there be something about it that draws them <laughs> closer. That, that, that draws them closer. That allows them to put their, put their pride aside. Pride being the number one tool that Satan uses to keep us out of the kingdom. Put their pride aside and come to the cross, weary, worn, and sad, finding oh. out <laughs> Jesus Favorite. is the answer, and it's he that will make them glad. Yes. Oh, Father, yes. I pray that you would do this for them. Do it right now as only you can. Reveal yes. yourself, Lord. And let them feel the squeeze. Let them feel the squeeze. <clears throat> Talking to them. Whispering in their ear. I got you. Yes. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, yes. He's yes. been waiting for you. And this is the day. <clears throat> Confess with your mouth. Yes. Believe in your heart. <clears throat> Get intoxicated. In the spirit of the Lord. Yes. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 I'm so Amen. glad and so happy to see. Let me let me do the benediction. <laughs> say our farewell so long, and we'll see you again next week. Father, we thank you so much for the blessings that you bestowed. We thank you for those who responded to the call. Father, we pray that there'll be something in the chat box that tells us, "Yes, this is me. I, I want to be saved." Father, yes. I pray and thank you for the opportunity to be in service. I thank you for using me as an instrument of your peace, Father. I thank you that you're not trying to make me be like anybody else, but letting me be who I am. And Father, because of that, there's an attraction, not yes. to me, but to you. Yes. Now, Father, as we dismiss from this place, we pray that you'll never, ever, ever let us out of your presence. Yes, not yes. because we deserve it, not because we've earned it, but because we know that you are able to keep us from falling. And you present us faultless before the presence of your own glory with exceeding great joy. You yes. are our wise God and you are our savior. And to you belongs glory, majesty, dominion, and power, henceforth now and even forevermore. And all the children of God together said the one word that binds us together, we all say. Amen. 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 Good to see you all, Barb. Good to see you. God bless you. All right. All right, Rev. You did a wonderful job.